Today, we are going to help you get rid of that irritating runny nose fast. I have five tips for you, and if you stay with me till the end, I'll give you a bonus tip. Let's get into it. A reminder that this video is for educational purposes only and is not intended to be a replacement for seeking care from a healthcare professional. Please do not make any changes to your medications or supplements without consulting your healthcare provider. Now, a runny nose usually is not something to really worry about. However, if it does come accompanied with severe pain, with blood, or if it does not resolve or dramatically improve within about 10 days, you definitely want to see your doctor about what is causing this runny nose. So assuming that you've already consulted a healthcare professional and they've deemed that this is nothing serious, let's get on with those five tips to resolve this runny nose for you once and for all. Now, it probably goes without saying, but if you are able to drink a decent amount of of water during the day, reduce caffeinated beverages and salt that might dehydrate you, this is going to help to thin out the mucus in the respiratory tract. Getting enough rest will also help your body to clear this viral infection or whatever is causing this much faster. Consider a sinus rinse. There are many different sinus rinses available on the market. They are very effective at clearing out the sinuses and helping to reduce inflammation of the sinuses. These sinus rinses are amazing. However, you do need to know a couple of important things before you actually go and do this. First of all, do not just use tap water. You need to use distilled water that has been cleared from any type of contaminants. Second, you need what is called an isotonic saline solution. And the way that you can get this is by purchasing the sachets at your local pharmacy or health food store, and those will allow you to get to an isotonic solution. If you try to make this at home and you are not able to make an isotonic solution with the right measurements, this is going to be extremely painful. Many products out there will actually come with a bottle as well as the salt water sachets and you just mix those with your distilled water and it's really easy to do. Once you have your water mixed with the salt solution and it's an isotonic solution, you can flush those sinuses out and this is a great option for kids as well. Nasal sprays. Nasal sprays can sometimes be helpful, but it's very important to know which one to ask for. Decongestant nasal sprays contain ingredients that can actually cause something called rebound congestion. They tend to work quite quickly. However, if you use them for more than a couple of days, they can cause something called rebound congestion, and this actually causes the congestion to become much worse. A better alternative would be an anti-inflammatory nasal spray. Now, these are usually available with active ingredients such as fluticasone or mometasone. Now, these nasal sprays do take two to three days to start working, and they only work for as long as you're using them. However, they are an effective way to reduce inflammation in the nose and help to reduce the type of congestion that is produced by different viral infections, allergies, dry air, and that sort of thing. So they may be a good alternative for you. Antihistamines. Sometimes antihistamines can be helpful. However, you want to talk to a pharmacist or healthcare provider before you select your own antihistamine. Some antihistamines would not be recommended for people with certain types of health conditions or people who are on certain types of medications. You also want to avoid the first generation antihistamines because these come with an array of side effects such as drowsiness, dry mouth, and that sort of thing. However, the newer generation antihistamines such as cetirizine, loratadine, fexofenadine can be quite useful and many of them work for 24 hours with very few side effects. So this may be an option for you. Ask your pharmacist or healthcare provider to help you select one that is best for you. Especially during the winter months, our airways can get quite irritated with all of the dry air produced by indoor heat. My bonus tip for you is to try a cool mist humidifier or hot shower before bed. Using a cool mist humidifier or having a hot shower before bed can help to reduce that irritation and inflammation. It'll help you get a better night's sleep and hopefully help to reduce congestion for you the next day. I hope this has been helpful. Take care and stay healthy. Bye-bye.